There's an old saying that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and here to show us how to really do it is Chef Bo Byrne. Thanks for so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me, yeah. We're making uh, something simple and like a signature dish today, pancakes. Yes, we're making some pancakes, and we're gonna do a, a, a slight spin on traditional. We're gonna do a buttermilk pancake. Mm. So I love buttermilk pancakes. So what we're gonna do in order to make those Step one is we're gonna add a little bit of buttermilk. I have in this bowl here some egg and some oil. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of buttermilk and some regular milk. The buttermilk is going to do a few things. It's going to add a little bit of extra flavor All right. to the pancakes. Um, and the acid in it is also going to help kind of kickstart the baking powder that's the leavening agent in these and just help to make these even fluffier than normal traditional pancakes. Hey. We're all for that. So what I have here, I have the flour mixed in, and I have a little bit of the, the baking powder and the sugar and the salt. And one of the keys when you're mixing your pancake batter is you don't want to over mix it. I think, okay. I think so often when you're, when you're mixing this in the bowl, you can't resist the urge to want to think it has to be smooth. Exactly. And, and that's it, not the case. That's not the case. And in fact, if you do that, that's going to create really flat pancakes. So you want to leave some lumps in there. You almost want to leave a couple pieces of flour that look like they're not quite mixed in. Okay. That, that's really the goal. I did not know that. And so here we have some that are already cooking and I'll drop a few more. Right on, the, right on the griddle here as well. You could do these in a cast iron pan or, or, or some kind of a flat top if you have. I'm using kind of a countertop model here. And I've got a few that are at this stage now where it's about halfway through the cooking process that you wanna maybe add something to the pancakes if you're going to. So in this one here, I'm gonna do a savory pancake with some scrambled egg and cheddar and bacon and scallion. And then we can do some here with a little bit of some main blueberry. We can add some chocolate chips to them like this. Oh my gosh. And they'll start to just settle right in there. And then once they start to start to rise, you'll see right around the edge, it'll almost be telling you that it's ready to go as it starts to have a natural curve. Yep. And then you just want to kind of gently come in here and flip them just like so. That one. Woo. Look at that. And you can do the, the fun thing about these, those ones aren't quite ready. Okay. The fun thing about these is this is almost kind of like calzone night at the house oh. where everybody can do their own kind of personal thing. Yeah. If you're into blueberries and strawberries, that can be what it is. Um, I've got some really fun variations of some different stuff that I've done in the past here where you could do like a Boston cream short stack where you could add some vanilla pudding. Oh my gosh. And then kind of do a little bit of something like that and a little chocolate ganache over the top and just really make these really epic, memorable pancakes, something like this. That looks so good. I call this one. That looks yeah. so good. We could do that just like that. Uh, blueberries could have a little bit of, you know, maple syrup added to them like this. Some fresh whipped cream. I, I, I macerated some strawberries earlier too, if you've ever had strawberry shortcake before. Yep. You've had that, so these strawberries were just tossed with a little bit of sugar and, and then just sat for a few moments and then again, just topped with some of that, that fresh whipped cream oh, like that. That looks not too delicious. Much, not too much sugar in the cream because I, I kind of put it already in the strawberries. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're doing chocolate chip pancakes, maybe you come at it here with a little bit of this Nutella butter. 50-50 Nutella and butter on top of there. Those just melt. Maybe we'll add a little bit of extra chocolate chip just to kind of show them off. Perfect. Perfect. And then we've got here this bacon and scallion. Look that at out. that. So Ooh. these can be savory. You can do these whatever you have. If you had some sausage at the house, use that right up. That looks so good. And there's really, there's something here for Everybody. Everybody. What, and whatever you could think of, too. You know, the, the possibilities are really limitless. If you want to do uh, a poppy seed and lemon, if you want to do orange and cranberry, go whatever. And here we have a little bit of that curve. It's starting to stick here a little bit. Yep. Beautiful. Nice. Just like that. And then you don't even really need the side or anything because it's all right it's, in it's, the thing. It's already right in there. And so, yeah, now if you want to, you could kind of come in at the end and with some of these, once again, add maybe just a little bit of this finishing sugar right Perfect. over the top. Beautiful. You don't really need too much. Just like that. Oh, man. A little bit of mean maple syrup. Fresh berries. Look at these. What else do you need? Um, a fork. 
and a knife. <laughs> we have that. We can get that for you. Those are close by. Oh my gosh. Okay. You have plenty to choose from here. We're going to have the recipe, the instructions, everything right in the 207 section of our website. Thanks so much for coming in. You're welcome. Showing us how to make this. Stay with us. 207 is back right after this.